sometimes I actually do pop in the kitchen and I look at the stuff. You know, so some people say it's quality control. And w one day, as one of my guys was like putting a burger patty on 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 you know the bun and everything, and it was like burnt to smithereens. So I said to him, "What is this?" And then he says, "A habanero burger." And you know, I I consider it insolence. I I freaking know what a habanero is or not. So I actually got the spatula and threw it across the kitchen and he had to duck. It was, made a mess because it bounced against the wall and then ended up in the fryer. But it was, it was. Yeah. I didn't really open the first place. I joined my wife in, in the first place. I mean, we weren't married. married. We actually met like that. It's kind of strange story too so like we, we didn't really like each other much so right. when we first met that mm -hmm. happened because they were running whatever they were running like that it was a very new restaurant and I was like there's no way to run it you have to run it like this and, and you know so sometimes I think a bit different so there's a lot of clashing you know I get that all the time but I don't see no point in, 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 in having a restaurant where you don't try 100%, you know? And all the employees should be trying 100% because I, even though 100% is difficult to achieve, that if at least you think of performing like that, you're good. Now, if you start slacking off and say, well, it, this is okay, or this is okay, or, you know, if you want to be in the okay business, McDonald's right over there, you know? It is, it is okay, we can all eat there. We're not gonna die. You, you understand what I mean? So yeah. a restaurant has to, be unique and perform the way people expect it to perform and you need to hit that mark all the time uh, are you yeah uh, that, that, that's happened but I've never said that there's no that, that there's no such thing as the perfect employee or the perfect person I, I'm neither perfect too which is why actually usually there's someone with me in the management that balances me out yeah. uh, my wife is a great person and she does that and some people that have worked with me say I'm very difficult to work with because uh, I can never understand why I have to say anything twice do you get what I mean if I say that well, the, the fork's gonna be straight like this and I walk into a restaurant at 11:30 and the fork is crooked if I've already told that person once if I have to tell them again they're clearly not a good employee in my eyes now my wife will say, no, but they're good with... Uh, I'm like, okay, you sort it out, make sure the, the focus is straight. You know? that, that's the way it delegates. <laughs>